Hey everyone, welcome back to GovCon Hacks. I'm Ashley Dole. If you're new here, I'm a federal sales strategist and I'm really excited about a long awaited update that has um, passed across my desk today and I've become aware of. And uh, that's going to be the dynamic small business search. So there wasn't a whole lot out there about this. Those who knew, knew. Those who were involved in beta testing and, and gave feedback knew it was coming. And I kind of heard through the grapevine, uh, but I wasn't involved in the beta testing here. So I'm like a kid in a candy store this morning playing with a new toy. And I wanted to show you around because um, the former DSBS search um, is going to be sunset this summer. So as of 620, which is, and I'm filming this on 619 of 2025. So as of tomorrow, this is the system that is essentially the search portal for DSBS. Now, as you can see on the site, it is still in beta. And if you are wondering what the URL is, it is beta-search.certify.sba.gov. So quite a mouthful, but still a little shorter than the existing link. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what we have here. So this is actually a lot faster. I did a real quick search just for my company name. Let me move my camera. Hopefully you guys can still, or I'm sorry, my microphone, and hopefully you can still hear me. So I'm just going to do a quick search for my company name to show you how fast this comes up. Boom, and I am right on top here. So my certifications are right there in the user interface. So that's pretty cool. Contact information, address, everything is there. And even because I have added, this is actually really nice. Because I have my capability statement URL linked in my DSBS profile, it's right here in the capability narrative section. So that's some really good data mapping. Um, whoever was putting this system together. So now I can click on my profile and it looks so much cleaner, guys. Check this out. So much cleaner. Look at my keywords. Very nice. I can't wait to get in and see if I'm able to add more than 525 characters now. So I will keep you guys posted on that. But this looks good. And it also tells you right here if I'm small in that NAICS code. That is very cool. All right, so let's pretend, oh, look, I can export it as PDF as well. Very nice. All right. Okay, so let's go and check something else out. Let's pretend like we're looking for teaming partners and let's play with these search filters. I'm going to go back to the homepage for that. And we're just going to go ahead and skip directly to search filters. All right, let me think about a use case. Let's see what options we have here. We've got location, so I can still select by state. It looks like I also have the metropolitan st uh, statistical area and congressional district and county code list. Those are a little less frequently used, but still you can select by state here with a checkbox. Here's our certification selection. So if I were looking, I can see here based on this option that if I were looking for an, a previously certified 8A, maybe someone that sized out or is no longer in the program, I would be selecting this. And it looks like it kind of comes up in real time, which is very nice. Yes, it does. So you guys, we are learning about this together. I have not played with this tool prior to this video. I was so excited. So um, I'm literally just figuring it out as I go along right along with you guys. All right, let's see what our options for NAICS are. You can now limit your search to the primary NAICS. Let's type in, um, let's look at, let's do 541611 just for argument's sake. Let's see what comes up here. It is a little slow, I notice. Give it a little minute. It is still in beta, so... 
I mean, you guys have to understand if you've been in this industry as long as I have, which is like 15 years, I, um, like, this is just so very exciting. <laughs> if you've had to use the old system, which used to randomize search results and, um, toward the latter part of its life, it kind of stopped doing that. So it was a little bit less, um, less useful, um, but nonetheless, I'm seeing here, if you don't have an active SBA certification, it quite literally shows up and, and displays. So those of you who are self-certified and have not proceeded with your certifications yet, this is a big deal because it makes it sort of very apparent whether or not you've completed that process. Um, so if you are being evaluated in the market research phase as a potential source, this could be exclusionary in some cases, depending on what's being looked for. All right. I love these keyword searches. Let's go and see what we find in keyword. Let's look at, let's say project management. I just want to see how many show up because there is no NAICS code necessarily that will pull it up. So I expect that my search results are going to include only completed profiles. And I'm seeing that that's true with the exception of this one. So most people are actually doing something with their DSBS. They're not always updating, but at least they're, they're filling it out. Very good. Okay. So these are going to be folks that have keywords either in their capability narrative or listed in the keyword section, um, matching my search here today. So we're going to get rid of that. Let's look at the business types. So I can search for you guys that are self-certified and not certified by SBA. That's very cool. Let's see. And there's an or and an filter, so I can select more than one. Let's see how many. Let's just look at women. Let's see how many women are self-certified but not yet showing up certified by SBA. If it'll show me, bear with me here. I'll go ahead and actually pause the video while it's thinking. That way I don't waste y'all's time. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. We've got a result here. However, I'm not necessarily convinced that this result is accurate. So this is saying that there are zero small businesses that are self-certified as veteran or self-certified women. Not necessarily convinced at that, but we'll give them a pass because it's still in beta. All right, let's try and let's see what more filters has to offer us. We can exclude firms with expired SAMs, so that's beneficial. I'm, if I'm a contracting officer, I'm definitely probably going to make that selection because I can't award you a contract if your SAMs expired. Quality assurance standards, bonding levels, those are the only more filters we have here. So that is pretty cool, guys. Now, if you didn't notice here, let me put in my... Let me put in my NAICS code again because I do want to show you one feature that you have. All right. So you can edit your table right here and pick what you want to be displayed, which is very unique. I like that feature. And I can also export right here just the email addresses. Like I guess that's for a mail merge. And then your, you can export your results table. I wonder if that's in PDF or Excel. Let's try it. You can get the capability statement link. That's awesome. SBA certifications. So imagine how easy this would be to upload into a CRM with all of this information. So part of your capture is kind of already done if this is how you're looking for teaming partners. Some of it uh, would have to cross-reference our, you know, the past performance by UEI, probably in FPDS or USAspending.gov, but Guys, how cool is this? I've been waiting 15 years for them to do something with DSBS, and it's finally here. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, um, you know, comments on this, or if you're as excited as I am, or if you're just like, meh, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tap that like, 
uh, comment and subscribe, share it with someone who it might be useful for, um, and let us know what your thoughts are. We love to hear from our community. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.